the loyal defender of Al-Aqsa. This is the story of one man who stood guard at Masjid Al-Aqsa for 57 years. But who was he and why did he do it? His name was Corporal Hassan and he was the last remaining Ottoman soldier at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Originally from northeastern Turkey, he'd remained loyally in Jerusalem since World War I until his death at around 100 years of age. He was one of thousands of Ottoman troops that had been sent to the city to defend it from British takeover. After the British had incited an Arab revolt, promising the Sharif of Mecca an independent Arab Khilafah. 25,000 Ottoman troops were martyred defending the city, but eventually the Ottoman governor announced surrender. Due to the severity of the siege of the city and the suffering that this peaceful country has endured from your heavy guns, and for fear that these deadly bombs will hit the holy places, we are forced to hand over to you the city. Signed, Izzat the Mutasarraf of Jerusalem. Just over a month after the British Empire started capturing territories from the Ottomans in the south of Palestine, British General Edmund Allenby entered Jerusalem on foot on the 11th of December 1917. Palestine would be under British mandate until the 15th of May 1948, the day after the creation of the State of Israel. Throughout all of this, Corporal Hassan never left his post. But this faithful soldier's story remained largely unknown outside of Jerusalem until 1972. Turkish journalist Ilhan Bardakcha was visiting Al-Aqsa Mosque when he says he saw a man over 90 years old with a shimmering white beard standing in the courtyard. The journalist asked what he was doing, to which he replied, I am Corporal Hassan from 20th Corp, 36th Battalion, 8th Squadron Heavy Machine Gun Team. He said that after an Ottoman defeat by the British at the Suez Canal in Egypt, he was sent to protect Al-Aqsa until the surrender of Jerusalem. My rear guard troop consisted of 53 privates. We got the news that after the truce, the army was discharged. Our lieutenant leading us said, My alliance, our country is an arduous situation. They are discharging our glorious army and calling me to Istanbul. I have to go. If I don't, I'd be in defiance of authority for failing to obey the order. Anyone can return to the homeland if he wills. But if you follow my words, I have a request from you. Kudus is an heirloom of Sultan Selim Khan. Remain on guard duty here. Don't let the people worry that the Ottomans have left. What will we do now? The Westerners will rejoice if Ottomans leave the first Qibla of our beloved Prophet. Don't let the honor of Islam and the glory of Ottomans be trampled on. For 57 years, Hassan went to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound every day for the Fajr prayer and would not leave until after the Isha prayer. Our troop stayed in Kudus, and almost suddenly the long years vanished. My brothers from the troop passed away one by one. We weren't mowed down by the enemy, but the years, only I am left here, just me, Corporal Hassan in the Grand Kudus. Knowing he'd never return to his homeland, the elderly soldier just had one request for the journalist. When you arrive in Anatolia, if you pass by Tokat Sanjak, please visit my commander, Lieutenant Mustafa, the man who deployed me to guard Al-Aqsa Mosque and trusted these sacred places to me. Kiss his hands for me and tell him, Corporal Hassan from Oder province of the 11th machine gun team still remains at Kudus where you deployed him. He didn't abandon his duty and wishes your blessings, Commander. Bardakcha did honor Hassan's request, tracing Lieutenant Mustafa through military records. But the commander had long passed. Ten years later, in 1982, the last Ottoman guard of Al-Aqsa passed away. His resting place remains unknown to this day. May Allah have mercy on Corporal Hassan.